Hi guys, welcome back to another Thursday tutorial. We are still with brioche knitting. This week we are going to have a look at decreases. I'm going to show you left slanted decreases, right slanted decreases and the centered four stitch decrease. It looks much more complicated than it is. Let's go. First, we are going to work the left slanted decrease. You are working to the brioche column that you want to slant to the left hand side and you work over the following three stitches. You slip the first stitch knitwise and then knit the other two stitches together. So it's the pearl, brioche pearl stitch and the brioche knit stitch. So the stitch and it's yarn over all three strands together and then you pass the first stitch over and there you go you've got your slanted column to the left let's do that one more time again we start with the brioche knit column slip the first stitch knitwise work the next two stitches together and then slip the first stitch over Next we are doing the right slanted brioche decrease. It is also worked over three stitches, but this time you work to the brioche column that is one before the one that you want to slant to the right hand side. We are slipping the first stitch knitwise, knit the second stitch, pass that first stitch over, slip the stitch to the left hand needle, pass the third stitch over and then slip that stitch back to the right hand needle. Let's do that one more time. Slip the first stitch knitwise, knit the second stitch, pass that first stitch over, slip the stitch to the left hand needle, pass over that third stitch and transfer it back to the right hand needle. In both cases for the left slanting and the right slanting decrease your brioche column is going to be on the bottom and you're stacking those other two brioche columns on top of it. Next we are having a look at the centered decrease. I've gone ahead and stacked up a few decreases on top of one another to make the slanting a little bit more obvious. So on this side we've got the left slanting decrease and since I didn't want to actually shrink my swatch I've been adding in an increase before I did the decrease. And on this side we've got the right slanting decrease and I've been adding in the increase afterwards to keep the swatch on this side the same size. Now we are ready to actually do our centered decreases with four stitches. The centered four stitch brioche decrease is worked over five stitches. Again, we are starting with a brioche knit column. You're going to need a removable stitch marker or a cable needle. I'm going to show you in a second what we are going to use that for. So we are slipping the first stitch and the second stitch knitwise. We are doing that separately. Make sure you've got your yarn in the back. Then we place the third stitch on our stitch holder to the front and then we knit that fourth stitch, slip the second stitch over, slip our stitch to the left hand needle, slip the fifth and last stitch over, place it back onto the right hand needle, slip the first stitch over and then we have one stitch left to deal with. We are placing that back onto the left hand needle, slip that stitch back and pass that stitch over. So we have the centered decrease and slip that stitch to the right hand needle so we can continue working. Let's do that one more time. 
Maybe it is easier to remember if you consider that you're always going from side to side with your steps, starting with the stitches that don't have a yarn over. So with the yarn in the back, we are slipping the first and the second stitch. We are placing that third stitch, the middle one, to the front. And now we are starting to stack our stitches. We knit the first one, slip that one that doesn't have a yarn over. over. We are done on this side, so we go over to the left hand side, pass that stitch over, we are done with the left side, go back to the right, pass this stitch over, and now we've got that last fourth stitch to decrease, so we place that back onto the left hand needle slip our stitch over so we can pass this one and then we put it on the right hand needle so we can continue working and there you go you've got your centered four stitch decrease i've gone ahead and finished up my swatch so i can show you all our decreases in one big picture we've got the left slanted decrease the right slanted decrease and the centered four stitch decrease if you found this tutorial helpful, please like and share. I'll see you next time. Happy knitting.